Hello, I'd like to show you to Walker Farms today. I've uh, made a video about these wonderful folks a few months ago, and I'd like to take you inside. I'm actually in North Fort Myers, Florida right now, and I've got a link to their website below. I, did, I get no kickbacks or no free honey from these folks or anything like that. Um, I would like for you to order from them. If you, you think you've had real honey, you haven't. Um, the stuff that you actually get in retail stores is uh, cut with uh, corn syrup and it's pasteurized and it kills all the enzymes out of it. And right now, well, orange season just got over and I'm gonna show you some larger jars here in a second. I'm gonna show you something else that they make here. This is a uh, black mangrove honey over here to the right, then wildflower honey, then salt palmetto. And this is actually my second favorite honey. Let me put a light behind this so you can actually see the clarity of it. This is orange blossom honey. The smell of this stuff, I'm a guy that basically hates everything. The smell of this stuff, if you actually took a large whiff of it, is better than taking a melatonin tablet at night. It's so incredibly aromatic and beautiful to smell. They actually take these out to pollinate the uh, orange blossom trees. Uh, it's it's incredible. The taste is unlike anything you've ever had. You think, well, I've had honey. I know what honey tastes like. I'm not a bit. This, I'm not a fan of wildflower honey. This tastes nothing like wildflower honey. If you only buy one jar of this stuff, you'd be so happy. I know I sound like a commercial here, but everybody knows that I don't sell anything. And uh, I would uh, really like you to check these folks out. These are, they've been around uh, this land for nearly a hundred years. This is uh, pure, bee, uh, pure beeswax you can actually order. This larger block over here to the right is $24. Uh, this darker beeswax is from Saw Palmetto Honey. The beeswax is slightly darker. And they also have, and I went into their facilities in the back here where they have huge uh, centrifugal drums to spin the honey out of the comb. They actually sell half gallons for $32. I don't know their exact shipping prices online. You can check it out on their website, but it's actually incredibly low shipping prices. One pound gallon. By the way, this is the only food in the world that never goes bad. They've actually rehydrated honey from Egyptian tombs that's thousands and thousands of years old, and it's still edible to eat. This is better than putting a Neosporin on a cut, even though I am not a prepper, someone that like preps for, you know, like really hard times or some sort of disaster. This is the number one prepper food to purchase because it serves as a healing agent for cuts. It's uh, uh, the perfect food uh, to consume, put on butter, put goes on anything. And it never goes bad. If you were to prepare for, well, you know, I can't prepare for a disaster, you know, because the food's going to go bad. You know, I might not use it. Well, this this never goes bad. If you live to be 200 years old, it would still be just as good 200 years from now. You might have to rehydrate it, but it's still perfectly good. Now look what we have down here. We have on the glass jars, we actually have uh, the unprocessed honey. And... Uh, this is really important. I'm actually taking two teaspoons of this every day. This is apple cider uh, vinegar. But, uh, this is actually the back room back there. You might not be able to see it where they actually have the centrifuges where they actually uh, extract the honey. They sell pure beeswax candles here. Everything here, the candles, is all made by these people. By the way, before I actually show you uh, something uh, magical that I got this a few months ago, and I'll show you in a second. They actually have orange blossom soap and lavender soap and orange clove. And it's made by a, uh, the daughter of the family that uh, lives here. There is actually a tube leading outside. We actually have live bees here in their beehive. And there's a tube that goes, uh, you can't see it, but there's a tube over there. It goes through the window. So there's actually... Uh, but these are, this uh, place, by the way, is on uh, Bee Charmer Lane. That's the name of the lane that it's on. It's a little gravel road card uh, called Bee Charmer Lane. Like I said, I'm in uh, North Fort Myers right now. This is the magical stuff. Let me grab it here. And it's made by a lady, the daughter. This is orange blossom soap. And uh, it's uh, so natural, she even said it's completely edible. It uh, contains glycerin, orange blossom honey, coconut oil, essential oils, orange butter, and orange peel. It smells absolutely magical. I actually got frightened there for a second. I forgot that the mesh on the beehive was open and the bees were kind of buzzing me. It's like, hey man, you're bothering us while we're making honey. 
like who's that fat guy is too close to our beehive. Um, but this is, this is as real as it gets. This, their honey is not cut with anything. Uh, they've, she's also got, by the way, milk and honey soap. My favorite actually is the Villa, Vanilla Express Latte. I've had the orange clove and the orange blossom uh, soap is my favorite. They also sell this on their website. She's also got uh, lavender bud and uh, sand, uh, yeah, yeah, sandalwood uh, walnut, excuse me. But let me go back over here. This is uh, Mr. Walker here. I know he's stepping out of the way, but I just wanted to, you've been on this property for uh, how long, you said? Since 1970. 1970. Right. And your family since 18... 1889 in the area, yes. Um, as I was saying in this video, I know you weren't planning on being in this video, that I recommend, you know, real products from real people and I was telling them how uh, the stuff that they buy in the retail store is nothing like what you carry. It's not cut with anything, but I don't want to... Well, You're the expert, if we, you could we, say. We hope, we hope that we have the best honey. We think that we do have the best honey. It's all natural. It all comes within a 50-mile circle of our property here. Uh, nothing is imported or nothing is added. Nothing is taken out. We don't do any filtering or anything like that to our honey. It's all natural. So if you want some good stuff and you like the taste of the four kinds that we have, Come by, we're happy to show it to you. The important thing, and you're the beekeeper and truly the expert on it, but I was telling people that they think they've had honey, but not only is it clover honey, not that that's a bad thing, but it's cut uh, with uh, corn syrup and other things and it's processed and it doesn't taste well, anything like what you guys don't, sell. Don't all. get the wrong idea. There are plenty of people that have really good honey. Yeah. There are some other people that do a little, a few things to the honey that we, we don't like to do or don't think about. but. Uh, there, there is some real good people around across this country that still have good honey. What did it mean other beekeepers? I, I phrased that wrong. I just meant like mass retailers that well, are selling. No, you know, the imported stuff from from China and India and South America. You never know what's in it, and and, and our and our ability to check it now is limited. We've cut our inspectors down over the last years from twelve to two in the state, so you can't check all this imported honey, but. But, uh, and I, I, I would venture to say that some of it has other things in it. You know, they're using herbicides and pesticides and all this stuff to, to work on these bees and around the bees. So you never know what's in it, but uh, you won't get that here. I didn't mean to question you too much. I just wanted to <laughs> just say how uh, incredible your product is, well, and especially that. the orange blossom. Most people never had orange blossom. Last time I made a video about your product, I got a lot of emails from people saying, wow, this tastes nothing like what I thought honey, you know, I thought all honey was honey and tasted like this, and that's all I've had in my entire life, and this stuff is so aromatic, even if I didn't like honey, just sniffing the orange blossom, as I was saying a couple well, minutes ago, will help you, help you sleep better even, just the smell of it. And what you're saying is true. All honeys aren't the same, they're not all treated the same, but uh, you'll find uh, the ones you want to find, the ones you like, uh, uh, that's what I stick with. Thank you, Mr. Walker. I'm sorry I held you up. Nope. I was just going to give one last look to the folks over here. And, uh, no, he wasn't too critical. He was saying, repeating the same stuff uh, I'd said, and uh, he's the expert. Um, uh, most people, what they know about bees and honey is about uh, a 2 on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm somewhere about a 5 or a 6. Obviously, he's a 10 out of 10. He's the expert. I've never been a beekeeper, but I've always studied every bee video and used to be a, a huge uh, bee fanatic and still am. I'm actually going to buy some beeswax before I leave here and recommend that you go on their website and purchase some of these incredible products. And if I could actually shine the light behind these to show you the clarity and the difference. This is black mangrove. I actually like black mangrove a lot. It has a very indescribable taste to it. Uh, the wildflower honey I'm very familiar with. It's very close to clover. The salt palmetto is really sweet and citrusy. Well, you think orange blossom is sweet and citrusy too. And of course, it's all sweet. It's honey, which it is. But the salt palmetto has a strange sort of wonderful sweet. I, I can't actually describe it specifically. But uh, it's very unique. But I'm a big fan of orange blossom. That's just my personal preference. But also re recommend black mangrove and salt palmetto. Salt palmetto. And uh, they say about a two day turnaround time, depends on what day you order it. And like I said, I have you know, no affiliation with these uh, wonderful people that are located in North Fort Myers here. I'm just a huge advocate of real products made by real people. And I was in their back room back there a minute ago and the lady that makes the soaps, 
I don't want to give you her name. She was actually filling up uh, honey bears. She was hand filling up honey bears out there in the back room back there. And they gave me a special uh, little tour where they process all the honey and cut the uh, caps off the combs and spin the honey out. And uh, they've also got what I really recommend, actually to finish this off, is there's comb in here. Most people have never had honey comb, real honey comb. They actually have it in orange blossom and saw palmetto. This is uh, $10 for a jar of this. These jars are $8.50 uh, for uh, one pound. And of course you get a much uh, bigger discount. I'm actually gonna uh, get one of these from my dad. This is a Orange Blossom Honey by Walker Farms. And uh, make sure, at least buy, if you're gonna order some honey, buy at least one bar of your favorite uh, soap. My favorite's Orange Blossom, but uh, Vanilla Express. I've not tried the sandalwood. And uh, they've got milk and honey also. I've not tried that one. It's fragrance free. I know the orange blossom soap is uh, really incredible. So uh, I want to say thanks from Walker Farms and letting these people let me make a little video here and show you the real products. And I'll post a link. Go to their website below. And um, please uh, buy at least a pound of their honey because you'll really be shocked. Buy a pound at least of uh, their orange blossom honey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you folks later. Okay.